Hey, it's episode 3 of Superman and Lois. Uh, last time, Jordan and Clark, Superman, went on a little mission to the Fortress of Solitude. And we did some tests on Jordan. We're like, ooh, does he have superpowers? Is he going to be even better than me? And Drell's like, you know what? Not a chance. <laughs> He's got nothing, nothing, I say. He's the worst grandson I've ever had. So that was that was a that was a wash. But I think he said he had like one percent or something. Or you he won't even have one percent of the power of you. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I think it's still connected to his emotion. And maybe he'll think it's connected to his anger, but in reality he'll be able to bring it out a different way. Eventually. Because Deep down, Jordan's not a supervillain. Like, he might be for a little bit, but... You know, the end... Jonathan's the real supervillain. <laughs> He'll team up with Morgan Edge as a business tycoon once he finishes his football career. It's a whole complicated story. Wait till season seven. Um, yeah, none of that will happen. Also, in the last episode, Lois quit. She said, Daily Planet, if you're going to be rewriting my shit, I'm out of here. So she's joined up with Chrissy at the Smallville, Smallville Gazette. Um, doesn't quite have the same reach as, uh, you know, the Daily Planet, but maybe, maybe it'll get a following, you know, because Lois is famous, isn't she? So, what else happened? Another battle between Luther and Superman. More space. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, we got to see a bit of Luther's world as well. A little flash of it. And Superman just, he, if he isn't evil, he's certainly pissed in that world. He was taking them out left, right, and center. When he was taking them out in a line. It was uh, pretty brutal. So, now that we've set the stage for even more stories and hijinks, let's go into episode three and see how the story builds. Let's do it. About a year ago, I took a bunch of my mom's pills. Oh yeah, I made a really guess we're gonna deal with that. Ooh, we're painting. Does this have too much blue in it? Um, Dad, can you do also, this not wrong. in like three seconds, please? Mom, can we just pick something? You make up your mind. You like this color? Stand back, Jonathan. Yeah, it's, it's a trick. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, Jonathan. He's never seen TV. Well, they're starting on a happy family night. But... He has to go. A bridge is freaking falling apart. What is it? Earthquake? Oh, shit! Just get all the people. Just get all the people. Some of the nicer cars, you know? Oh, and the, get the bus as well. Uh, hey. Yeah, Superman. Where's he bringing it? Holy shit. Where is he flying? He's gonna fly back to America with it? I got a bridge for you guys. You can hear every sound in the world at once. Yeah, how do you filter all well, that out? Lots of years of training at the fortress, but that's where I learned to hone in on certain sounds. Oh, What's yeah. the most embarrassing thing you've ever heard? Nope. <laughs> Maybe when you guys are older. Oh, oh come on! By the way, I hear all the stuff you're doing in your rooms, you freak sons. Power comes with its own burden. I'm responsibilities. You mean rules. Don't draw attention to myself. Oh, don't feed him after midnight. Hey. Ooh, gremlins. When I was your age, my dad was really strict. And at the time, it seems unfair. But now... No, I realized he was a dick. All I'm asking is that you're careful, okay? I can't always be there. No problem. Yeah. Hey. All right. Are you even old enough to be our dad? You know, if this is something you're so embarrassed about, this? maybe we shouldn't be doing it anymore. It's been a year, Lana. You're not the only one worried no, about this. No, you sure have a funny it's way hard. of showing it. Hey, honey. Hey, honey, we weren't arguing. How did it go with Dr. Lawrence? Oh, it's the year since she took the pills? Hey, you weren't in first period class this morning. Everything all right? Wow, this school looks really, really depressing. Fine, it's just some dumb family drama stuff. 
Could we possibly I'm... hang out? And then oh, can... I, I'm gonna be late. So... Hey, uh, my boyfriend's about to Close, kick your ass again. No cigar, pal. Nice try. Stop snooping, Superman. Oh, he's gonna hear this. Hey, short stack. Uh oh, he's gonna want to intervene, but he can't. Don't you walk away. Oh, he's getting his anger. Don't blast him, just punch him. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, I just happened to be here. Just happened to be wandering down this corridor. You're spying on us. How long have you been doing this? Since we moved here, our whole lives? It's whole not lives. like I'm listening all lives. the time. That is, that is the wrong answer. This is a weird, morally gray area for Superman to be in. There's boundary <laughs> issues. Do you remember the first time I caught you listening in on me? Pretty sure I spent about a week's salary on flowers just to get you to talk to me again. Any suggestions on how to make things right with the boys? Um, PlayStation games? Up their allowance to a million gold bars? No more listening in on your conversations. Mom mentioned something about flowers. <laughs> what are the chances of you raising my allowance? Hey! Nice try. Are you serious? I'm serious. Sure, whatever. How'd you like to interview the keynote speaker at this year's Harvest Festival? How uh, about you do it, Chrissy? This is really my brand. Well, around here they sell papers. Now, which one of you mm -hmm. is calling around New Carthage looking for a new story? Me. Does this have anything to do with Morgan Edge? I'm hoping you can help me nail that bastard's ass to the wall. Ooh, she's in. Miner at the Edge facility in New uh, Carthage. New Carthage. Thank you. Why do you think there was foul play involved? Hey, Mom. Oh, it's a message. Opportunity this isn't what I thought it was. Oh, not sure oh. what's gonna happen, so I just wanted you to know that I loved you. Oh, that's a goodbye message. You've ever heard one? He just went missing? Thank you. Ooh, who's this guy? Morgan Edge hired this person to spy on them? You can't just break up with me. Have you not been paying Ooh. attention? She's breaking up with him. Just give it a few days and then strike. Better let it stay in your lane. Uh, shut up. Who are you? You what well, what well, laser you? Three, four, five, seven, eight. But barely paying attention. What's going on? Um, Relax, mom. What do you I didn't know her mom worked here. <laughs> I quit. How about that? But no, this is you gotta be a cheerleader. It's her mom's lifelong dream for you. Is that your brother? Oh, he's trying out for the I'm trying out for the team. That is a terrible idea on so many levels. So yeah, what if your powers know, probably, kick in? I, what about your powers? I'll go easy. These guys think they can push us around. Well, guess what? Oh, oh. Push him back. <laughs> He's going to kill some people? Oh, we got music. You can't kill anybody while there's music playing. He's smiling now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So it looks like he has, like, Control like some power all the time. That's what I'm talking about. What you think, Coach? Thanks, Thank you ran you. your brothers out. You. Can't do the eye thing on command, but he can do the I'm gonna knock you over thing. You two are very unusual people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, sir, your mom's coming in at like an EF4 right now. Quick, get out of there! Jump hey, out boys. the window. Look, I'm just trying to keep you safe because you think I'm gonna kill myself. Okay, Yikes! <laughs> Dad sleeps on the couch every night. Oh, Sophie shit. bullies all of the kids in her <laughs> class, and you can't go to bed without taking a pill. Lana? Not now, Clark. <laughs> She's not even in the mood to flirt with Clark. That's how bad things are. Selling a conspiracy theory about her son. Did you smell her breath? It's because she's her son is missing. At least give me the chance to prove I'm right. What the hell? What the hell is this? Is that her car? Back off! Don't investigate Edge. That's the message. See, Chrissy? There is something to this. Morgan Edge was behind this, Kyle. Oh, hold on. You shouldn't go around making baseless accusations like that. Yeah. <laughs> what will it take for Kyle to come around, do you think? Seeing Morgan Edge literally kill somebody in front of him? Sure, he kills a few people, but he's bringing jobs. Besides, Coach Gaines may even send me a valentine. Jordan, football is my thing, not yours. It's, it's you the only thing Jonathan's football, got. You ego maniac. What if someone gets hurt? I'm getting a little tired of everyone treating me like I'm some sort of ticking time bomb. <laughs> no dad's gonna find out. Jordan is the definition of ticking time bomb, but uh, especially at this age, superpowers are not. 
We have been here for a week and somebody has already tried to blow up my car. <laughs> Besides, it's not like it's your first Molotov cocktail. <laughs> He's not at all concerned that um, his wife could have been in that car and died in a fiery ball of flames. He's just like, you, it's not your first Molotov cocktail. I hear Jordan's yeah. quite the football star. Oh, I no. It's time to get ready. Ooh. Is he going to turn up? Meets the road. <laughs> Who do you want? I want a short stack, coach. These Jordan's two. Sarah. Oh, cool. he's apologizing. Apologize. Hey, hey, maybe we can work it out. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now you can quit the team, Jordan. See, what do you think? Dad, did you hear that? <laughs> Dad is like, what How could you, you possibly doing? think it was okay <laughs> to join the football team? Your powers are. Yeah. Well, I barely have any. Remember? That's what Grand Pabby told us at Elsa's Ice Castle. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I just wish you would go back to not being around anymore. Ooh. This this isn't a rosy episode for anybody. You too. What did Jonathan do? We're meeting in New Carthage to go over it all. I'm gonna need to borrow your truck. Yeah, don't. You gonna bring it back? Take it care. Take care of it. You got messages from the team? Maybe Jordan needs football. Wow. Is this kid the best brother ever, or what? You should have seen him out there. He's making friends. He's been happy for the first hmm. time in... Friends don't think that will make a difference to him. What's the point of having something special if you're not actually allowed to be special? Mm. Good point. He still could seriously hurt somebody, especially if his powers grow. You know? He has a little bit now, but I'm sure it's going to grow a little until he's sending somebody into orbit during the middle of a game. Hey Lois, do you want to check out a super creepy abandoned um, hotel? Don't go in the shower. Sharon? This doesn't look promising. Oh shit. Beeper, beeper, beeper thing. Oh, that won't help you. He will. <laughs> the, the dude, how did you survive getting hit through a wall? Hey, what the? What? Who is this guy? Laser vision, maybe? Oh, he's freezing. <laughs> how, about, how about that? Get out of here. Who the hell was that guy? Kryptonian? Someone with meteor fists? And when am I gonna know that you're really okay? Guess I'll tell you. But please, I need to know why it happened. Does she even I know herself? Felt trapped. The only future that I saw for myself was a life that I didn't want. Do you know what kind of life would make you happy? Nope. She has to figure that out. I think. I guess I'm figuring it out. Yeah. Okay, this is a good a good conversation. I think they're both in a better place after it, so. Is playing football something that you really want? These last couple of days, they've, they've kind of just been incredible. And you're sure you can keep your powers under control? Yes. I don't know how to explain it, it's just a feeling. <laughs> I guess you would know. Yeah. Does this mean I can play? It does. Really? Yes. You want to be an assistant coach? <laughs> I just want to help out. Look, I, I, on, coach. I won't get in the way. I'll do whatever job you need. Not to mention he'll work for free. Oh, for free? You're so on board. started with that kid. <laughs> <laughs> you can carry all this shit. <laughs> you have to pretend it's heavy. Um, so, so uh, Friday's going to be your first game? Are they going to? Yeah. I. Um, I'll. Have well, fun I'll at see... practice, guys. <laughs> Hey, Dad, I'm flirting with a girl. Could you not be goofy? All right, all right, all right. All right. Just... I need to apologize to you. Stories this important don't usually happen in Smallville. Stories like this happen in small towns everywhere. Uh, like this one? Come on, let me show you what I've been working on. 
Oh, it's a board. Well, it's up to us to put it all together. Ooh, I like a puzzle. Well, how's Lar gonna take care of it? Who is he? Do we know you? Do you have powers too? He's, he's dead. It's done. I'll call it team. All the loose ends are tied up. Who is she? That just gives me more questions. So, that was episode three of Superman and Lois. They almost call it Smallville. <laughs> um, we have a few things to talk about. One is Morgan Edge behind all the super, these super people. Presumably, yes. Who else would it be? Um, but he gets one guy to, like, intimidate Lois. You know, he didn't go straight to kill her. He torched her car. And then tried to do away with the other woman, Powell. You know, when she was saying, Hey, my my son is missing. Let's take down Edge. But then when he fails to do that stuff... He gets taken out by a second person with powers, super heat vision. Um, so where are all these people coming from? Where are all these powered people just suddenly existing from? Um, and how many of them are there? And do they all answer to Edge? And what is the big game plan here? You know? Um, what does Morgan Edge need with miners when he can just get some a few superpower people to do all the mining. <laughs> so yeah, there's a there's a grander story here, and Lois is going to get to the bottom of it with the help of Chrissy and their board, their big puzzle board. And we'll maybe we'll find out what happened to the missing the missing people because there's more than one. Um, I'm sure we'll find out. We'll get some resolution to all of that. Um, and maybe there's a grander scheme, a grander plan that we need to stop. Um, maybe uh, Clark's arc will intersect with this story as well at some point. At the moment, it seems very much like all the Edge stuff will leave to Lois. And, uh, you know, Jordan and Jonathan and the the football and the, the school stuff. Clark can get involved, more involved with, now that he's joined the football team as well. During the episode, I was worried about Jonathan because, you know, just a few weeks ago, he was the cool kid, sports kid. His brother was the, the broody kid, the, <laughs> the story of the outcast. And now that kid was given all the powers and now he's moving into Jonathan's domain, and I was worried that Jonathan would feel like... And he, he did even say, like, football football's my thing. So, like, it's like part of his identity has been taken, as well as him getting, getting this short straw with the whole powers thing. But once again, he rises above all that emotional petty shit, and actually goes to bat for his brother to stay on the team. Like, how good of a brother do you have to be to do that? You know, he's consistently um, surprising me with his reactions. He's much less likely to fly off the handle than Jordan, and he, even he recognizes that. And he's like, you know, maybe this football thing is good for Jordan. You know, he's fitting in. He's making friends. Yeah, sure, he's got kind of more strength than he should have, and he's really... <laughs> he could probably single-handedly win games. It's not just a little bit extra strength, it's a lot extra. <laughs> um, yeah, it is funny. And I wonder if those powers will grow, and if it'll become harder to control them. At the start, when we were in that corridor, and he was being pushed up against the lockers. I was waiting for the eyes to, to... He was getting... His fist was... And I'm not sure if Clark was aware of that. He certainly overheard the fight. Um, 
But I think if he hadn't just suddenly appeared in that hallway, we would would have had another ocular... And this time somebody would have got hurt. So, yeah. Oh, and geez, it was a wholesome ending to the whole, hey, you kissed my girlfriend, that whole thing. You just have to knock him on his ass and then apologize. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. So now there's no there's no tension between any of the kids at school. That's all been resolved. So I don't know. Jordan, Sarah getting on. Although Sarah did dump that guy because she was he was not the sort of person she's looking for. And then Jordan like joins the football team. <laughs> so hopefully she doesn't mean football player and just means the type of person he was, you know, his personality. Oh, and we also had some resolution, some sort of coming to an understanding between Lana and Sarah. They had a really honest conversation. The first conversation in the the cafe or the the diner, that was... <laughs> Uh, soon to believe it was hilarious and awkward the two brothers just kind of not knowing what to where to look or what to say that was the best part of that whole scene some really honest shit was being thrown <laughs> but later on when in the bedroom when Lana and Sarah were talking that was really good stuff really um, honest and open and why did you do it What's your problem? What are your problems? Where do you want to be? You know, how can I help? You know, really healthy stuff. Yeah. So, everything's wrapped up. Apart from the edge stuff, Luther wasn't even in the episode. Cousin Havoc, he's probably gaining, he's probably building suits and rebuilding ships and gathering meteor rocks and. You know, he needs he needs an episode off to re resupply. That's what I think. Oh, we had a good action scene with the bridge. Shit, that bridge was just like that's scary stuff. You know, I thought he would like grab all the people and the bus and everything, but he just I'll just catch it when it falls. <laughs> I'll catch it, and then I'll fly it somewhere. Where'd you bring it? Where'd you bring it, Superman? Uh, yeah, fun episode. Um, I wasn't expecting them not to have any Luther in it, but it worked. It worked all the same without him, and we made bigger the threat of Edge because now he's not just a a guy with money. Now he's a guy with money and powerful connections allegedly so yeah we have episode 4 coming up next week I'll see you back here and have a good one till then